Good morning, everybody. God bless y'all. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. Cup of the kitty cats. Pull up a chair, sit down, relax. All right, I hope you're all having a beautiful morning. I'm almost ready to leave. It's <laughs> taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but a lot of what I've been doing, really, believe it or not, one of my flashlights is going, the kitties are grumbling, but what I've been doing is a, more or less a lot of decompressing from all the stress that I've put myself through, and then it's me doing it to me. So, I've been just trying to relax and let a lot of things that I need to let go go. It's part of the process. For me, anyway. It's part of my process. You know, you do you, I take care of me, I, you take care of yourself. You do in your life what you need to do. You know, I'm not... I'm not... He doesn't want to share, he wants to be in charge. It's not going to happen. Um, you know, you, I have to do what I have to do for myself. To make myself happy. And be at peace with me and who I am and what I'm doing. And that has actually been the biggest part of what I've been doing. Is just letting go of a lot of the garbage that I've let build up inside of me. So, this is part of the journey. You know, I, this is a, a journey, I'm taking a journey of discovery, not of, ooh, I'm going to find something that nobody else has seen before. No, that's not what I'm talking about. It's discovering, you know, discovering things about myself. You know, pushing myself to a new limit. Pushing myself to new boundaries. Discovering that, hey, there's a lot more to me than I even thought. And I think there's quite a lot to me that I haven't discovered yet. And then I'm going to push myself beyond that. So this is a process of discovery of what I am capable of doing. And it's going to be rough. There's going to be times where I'm going to wind up fighting a war against myself. I guarantee it. You know? <clears throat> but it's part, of, you know, it's part of everything that's going to happen. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm... You know, I'm, I'm gonna say, um, it's going to be a challenge, it's going to be, but nothing worth doing is easy. If, if, if everything comes to you so easily, you can snap your finger, maybe you're not challenging yourself enough. So this is going to be a big challenge for me, right? I'm going to get into my affirmations because I got a little bit of stuff still to do. And I want to make sure I get it done, all right? So, one set. I'm going to go through my affirmations once. I'm going to pause you. I'm going to do the better part of 18 minutes by myself without you. Because it just get boring for you to sit there and watch me do 18 minutes of the same thing over and over again. So, do one. I do the, do the first one. I do the last one. And, yes, I, I do the full 18 minutes. Because the only person I would cheat is me. And I'm not... That would be pointless. It, all of this would be a complete waste of time. And the good news is, I want to do this for a year. I've already done this every single day for six over six months now. So we're halfway, over halfway there now. All right. So let's get started. I am determined. I am disciplined. I am motivated. I'm in control of my fear. I'm in control of my anger. I'm in control during conflicts. I finish the task. I start. I speak thoughtfully, I speak with purpose, I'm closed off to all things negative, I'm a positive influence, I am worthy of good things. All right, I'm going to pause you. Okay, last one. I am determined, I am disciplined, I am motivated, I'm in control of my fear, I'm in control of my anger, I'm in control during conflicts. I finish the task, I start, I speak thoughtfully, I speak with purpose, I'm closed off to all things negative, I'm a positive influence, I am worthy of good things. All righty, that is 18 minutes worth. Oh. Yeah, I do have a little bit of anxiety today. I'm trying not to let it overwhelm me. I'm thinking I need to talk to my son-in-law and 
I'm looking at a few things that are here in the room that I have to go with me, and I'm like, oh, Lord. This is still a lot of stuff. I mean, basically, I'm going to be moving. Everything that I want to go with me has to go with me. I don't have a storage unit. I'm not putting stuff in the storage unit because mo by time, I mean, if I had high dollar, high value stuff that would be inherently valuable, in other words, it would gain like heirlooms and stuff like that. Yeah, I would think about getting a storage unit and probably would, but I don't don't really have any heirlooms that there that I want to take with me. There's things I want to keep, yes, but they're all replaceable. So, I mean, the, the couch, the cats have kind of dug up one side of the couch, so why would I want to keep it? I can go get a, you know, it, yeah, it's going to cost money and take time to replace it and, you know, have a job. I'd have to get a job somewhere and take the time and work to replace it, but it's replaceable. It's not like I got to have it. Um, there's a few things I want to take with me that are valuable to me. Um, hopefully they will serve a purpose out there. If not, you well, know, it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. I just, I want to take these things with me. And we're going to see. Because today I'm using a 13 foot kayak with a, I believe it's a 10 foot rubber boat. Blow up boat that I'm going to pull behind the kayak. So between the kayak and the rubber boat, I got to make everything fit. Yeah, and yeah, all, some of the stuff I'm taking is for creature comforts. And I'm not going to lie and say, oh, well, I have to have this stuff. No, I don't have to have it. I want to take it. I want it. I have a cooler that is literally a refrigerator. It plugs into a solar generator. So I got two solar generators with a, a solar panels. So I make sure I don't run out of juice. Yep, these are the things I want. Why not? They're available to me. I can... Hopefully I can manage this. I don't know until I try. I'm not going to just, you know, if it doesn't work out the first day, I'm going to try to work on it and work on it, work on it until I can figure it out. And he is attacking my ankle. He's using an, the excuse of a toy. Says, can you be nice? Be nice. I'm not hurting you. You are, see, you're just. <laughs> all right. I love you all. God bless you all. And you choose person name, amen.